Hello, this is Gabrielle from intentionalgabrielle.com and today I'm going to be filming a little get ready with me. So I have a fresh face. This is afternoon here and I am just getting ready for my day. So as you can see, my skin is a little red. It's irritated. It's not very happy with me. And so I'm going to start by oil cleansing. This is the Wilder North Blue Chamomile Cleansing Oil. And I'm going to take two pumps and gently just kind of take off any residue, any oils, anything that was left on from last night's skincare routine. The blue chamomile oil is very soothing and that's really what I wanna to do today. I wanna to soothe my skin from any dryness, irritation that I just feel like I have going on. nice to do kind of like little circles wake up your skin wake up any puffiness and then I'm going to go in with my little roller that I left in the freezer for a couple minutes and I'm going to gently depuff with these fast motions again just waking up the skin getting under the eye area and rolling down Smells really good. I absolutely love my roller. I've been using it a lot more lately just to soothe and calm my skin. And with this, I am also helping penetrate this oil in. I tend to be puffy around the eye area, so really making sure I don't skip that as well, getting underneath the brow, move around the forehead, and then just doing a simple little drain down. Now, <clears throat> with oil cleansing, I like to take a little cotton round and my toner and spritz and gently remove. You can also use a washcloth too, but I like the toner um, because it really gets off that oil. So you feel like you're getting a clean, like from a traditional cleanser as well. That's my little wake up routine. You can see that my skin is a little less red, a little bit more awake looking. So a new product to me is the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. And I've actually really loved this. I take one pump and gently cleanse my skin. It's a light foaming cleanser and it smells like strawberries, which I really, really love. Um, usually I've been oil cleansing or I use a creamier cleanser, but I actually really liked this because I've been having some just taking a little toner to act as some water. Having some kind of like bubbly little breakouts along my hairline. I think it's just oil since I don't wash my hair um, that often every three to four days. So I think it might be just a little area that I may be missing when I cleanse. So that's been nice. It's been kind of drying that up a little bit, but not drying out my skin. I really love this. I love it for my skin type, which is a combination. And I would say really anyone can benefit from this as long as you um, look over the ingredients and know that you don't have any allergies or sensitivities to those. Then I'm gonna take a nice cool cloth and gently just wipe away the cleanser. I'm not using any heat today because I want to calm my skin. another one as well just to make sure that this cleanser is off I don't have a sink right nearby okay so that cleanser is off and then I'm going to tone so I love this Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator it's amazing I'll do a couple spritz 
Make sure I get my face and my neck. And then I'm going to move on to the Hydration Boost Concentrate from Josh Rosebrook as well. This is a new product to me as well. Um, really love it. It's not oil-based and it doesn't have any essential oils in it. So it's great for someone who's sensitive or is finding that their skin is a little bit more sensitive. I take two to three drops, just three, and it's plenty for the whole face. Just gently pat it into my skin, filled with hyaluronic acid to really bl uh, blump, pop, plump, plump your skin. <laughs> have to laugh at yourself sometimes, right? It's good. Uh, plump the skin, plump any fine lines, wrinkles, and just have that hydration back that winter really takes away from us. So usually I go in with the Leilani Siren Serum, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love. Today I'm going to mix the Wild and North Sensitive Skin Blue Serenity Serum. I'm going to take a pump of this and put that in first just to make sure that, again, I'm soothing. And then I'm going to take a half pump of this Siren Serum. Ah, and they both smell so good together. And I really love to massage my products in. I don't love to just let them, you know, kind of sit. I really like to work them in. Make sure I'm getting my chest as well. My neck. And anything I have left over, I like to put on the tops of my hands. So the next product I'm gonna go to is my eye cream. I've been using the 100% Pure Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. Boop. So this little tube comes out fast, so I'll use a tiny little bit on my ring finger. I like to put them together and then apply go all around the eye area and then I like to bring it down to right here to add a little bit more cushion and let that sit so because my skin is a little extra dry lately I'm going to go in with the Leilani Bless Balm just take a little bit out a little bit and I use this as a moisturizer so love it for my lips don't forget those and it smells so good and it's just like sealing everything in and my skin feels so much better it feels like it's hydrated it's so much less irritated I feel like everything that we've done up until this part is just so nice soothing I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see. Yeah, so much more happier. I'm breaking out right now, so I do have some redness going on, some uh, kind of uneven skin tone, and of course, my dark circles will always be there, but that's okay. So I like to give myself a moment to let this kind of sink in. Sometimes I'll go and make myself a cup of tea. I love a couple minutes to just not move on to the next product to let everything kind of sink in, relax, soothe. So <clears throat> I'm going to go on to talking about my favorite deodorant. This is Freedom Deodorant. I have it in the scent Frankincense Peach and I absolutely love this because one, it keeps me dry, it smells really good, and it almost is like that OG Dove deodorant that we all love and used, used hopefully. So this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go in and show you that as best I can <laughs> that it doesn't leave any residue on the underarms which is so nice this will kind of blend in and then I go in with the Rad Soap Co cucumber flower spray this just helps make me stay and feel uh, clean sometimes in between work or clients I need a little fresh pick-me-up I'll grab that that little cucumber flower Dio spray just for a little spritz. Sometimes I like to put it in uh, my shoes 
for a little refresh. Okay. And then the next step is going to be my Kula BB Cream. I have this in light medium. Love this. It's going to come in handy today for kind of the redness that is going on. Just make sure my hands are product free. So I take two pumps of this and just pat it right into my skin. Don't forget the neck, chest, if you're not wearing a top that covers it. I love this, it's so soothing. I really love the dewy look and feel of this. It's not full coverage. It's very, very light, but I go in with my concealer with any other area that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna bring out my mirror so that I can see that this is kind of all smoothed out here. Gorgeous. Yeah, and you can just see it creates a nice finish, a nice glow, and I really love it. And then I will go in with my RMS on cover up. Again, I take my ring fingers and I just apply it. I'm gonna use my little mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna use it on a couple little spots that I have going on too. Just gently blend those in. I really just use this for my under eyes. Um, I am shade 22. The shade really works for me year round as well. I don't find that I have to get multiple shades or anything like that. Now, for those of you that like to set this in, I would definitely recommend um, a setting power powder if you don't like that super dewy glue. Glow, oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on with me today? I can't talk. Super dewy glow. So then I will go in either with a brow pencil or the Jane Iredale, or this is her pure brow gel. This is the plume um, pencil. I've been really loving this. I love that it has a little baby spoolie on the end here. So since this is new and I haven't shown this in a video, I'm gonna do my brows really quick with it just to show you the, let's see what color I have because I forgot. One of the browns. I don't think it says on here. Alright, well, let me just lightly fill in my brows. I'll leave it in the comments the color because I can't find it at the moment. I just lightly fill them in and then just kind of brush them out. I like the color for me, you can tell the difference, it just adds a little bit of definition in there. I do uh, have some brow hair that is missing on the other side, so I like to create that effect that at least it kind of looks like they're going back in. And I have been using the Plume Brow and Eyelash Serum. Primarily, I've been using it on my brows, and I have not been using it for very long, so I will keep you updated. I see a couple little brows, brow hairs pop up, um, but nothing where I'm like, oh my gosh, my brows are totally coming back to life. We'll see. I will still rely on tinting my brows and filling them in till further notice. So then sometimes I will go in with this little brow gel and just give them a little bit more flare, set them in place for the day. I use very little. Okay, gorge. This is the plume serum I was talking about. I usually just use it at nighttime. And then I will go in with my Fit Glow Lip Serum. I absolutely love these. This is probably my third bottle. Has vegan collagen in there. This is the shade Rosé. It's a little pop-up color. 
Then I'll use the My Light, which is from Coco Kind. It's their highlighter. I like to use a little bling here, a little bling there, you know? And then I will use it on my lids. <clears throat> and then to just ground myself throughout the day, get myself ready, I'll use the Leilani Bless Aromatherapy Essence. So I'll put it right onto my wrist, take a nice deep breath in. And then I'm ready for the day. My hair is pretty low maintenance, so I let it do what it do. And that's it, gorgeous loves. So I have a couple hours till I go to work. So this is my, probably I do this in like five minutes when I'm not explaining it. It's super quick, really just like putting on that base of SPF. Make sure I'm cleansed, hydrated, and ready for the day just for a simple little glow look. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you babe soon.